Good afternoon. Pleasure to see everyone here today. Uh, to my right, I have Mr. Zemsky, head of the Empire State Development Corporation, who you know well. Uh, and uh, to my left, Mr. Gutierrez, general counsel of Spotify. And uh, we're here with uh, exciting news. Spotify, which is a uh, leading edge technology company in the music streaming space, uh, is going to be adding employees, over 1,000 employees, uh, here in the great state of New York, and will be making their U.S. headquarters in New York, and will be moving into Four World Trade Center, uh, where they'll be leasing 400,000 square feet. Uh, and this entire transaction comes about thanks in part to ESD, which is providing a state subsidy to make the transaction financially viable. Um, we're very excited about it. It saves uh, 800 jobs, adds 1,000 jobs, uh, and brings a, uh, a growing dimension to uh, downtown. You know, we think of downtown Manhattan, the financial district, as Wall Street and financial firms. Uh, the downtown area now is totally different. It's finance, yes, but it's also uh, technology. Uh, it's life sciences, it's biotech. It's a much more diversified economy and, and part of the city than ever before. Uh, I want to congratulate Gail Brewer, who was here. The borough president is doing a great job, and Senator Squadron, this is in his district. Uh, and this uh, move by Spotify is more proof and further enhancement of that development of an entirely new economic development uh, sector in downtown. Uh, it's also consistent with everything we've been doing here and the main task of Empire State Development, which is that uh, New York is open for business. The states now compete for businesses like never before. Uh, it is constant. You have states trying to literally come into our state and attract businesses to go to their state. Uh, so it's a very competitive atmosphere. And for many years, New York was not prepared to compete. We are now prepared to compete. Uh, we do it on all levels. Uh, and I, I think it's safe to say that this state is as competitive with any state in the nation as a place to locate a business. Uh, and Spotify is once again proof of that. They could have gone anywhere, a very mobile, young workforce, a very hot, cool company. I was on Spotify as a member, by the way, before any of this started, I want you to know. Uh, so um, the, the good work of ESD, the overall work and economic condition of the state, uh, pro-business, taxes down, economically competitive, uh, is working, and it's more evidence of it uh, today. With that, let me turn it over to Howard Zemsky with a hearty congratulations to him and his team for work well done uh, and the entire team at Empire State Development. Thank you, sir. Well done, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. It's great to be here with you. Thank you all for joining. Uh, fabulous to welcome Spotify to Lower Manhattan. Spotify is a mix of old school and new school, taking music from vinyl to virtual with its award-winning digital music streaming service. As an intersection of music, software development, and social media, Spotify is employing New Yorkers in software engineering, product design, label, artist relations, editorial, shows, original content, marketing, legal, sales, finance, and more. From my standpoint, as the head of ESD, over a thousand new jobs in Lower Manhattan is amazing news. Uh, I'm proud of ESD, Empire State Development, all of my colleagues who have helped make this happen, uh, and the work that they have done through um, Lower Manhattan Development Corporation and the entire ESD organization to help rebuild uh, employment in Lower Manhattan in um, you know over the last decade. Uh, our World Trade Center uh, rent reduction program has offered uh, up to $11 million in rent credits for 15 years of the company's lease. That's an example of the kind of creative incentives we offer to companies that commit to coming to New York and staying and, of course, growing here. 
it's no surprise that a company as dynamic and cutting edge as Spotify chose to grow and expand right here in New York. As all of you know, it wasn't that long ago that New York carried a reputation as being anti-business under Governor Cuomo's leadership. However, that reputation is now thankfully a vestige of the past. New York is open for business, as you know and I know and everyone knows. We are really at the center of the 21st century economy. We have the talent, the workforce, the resources, and the ideas to support this kind of fast-paced tech revolution. We are home to the world's finest schools, both public and private. We are ranked number one in the Northeast for STEM-related graduates because we want to make sure that New Yorkers have the skills, the education to be part of a growing, exciting sector like this one. Spotify joins other innovators at home in New York, including Warby Parker, BuzzFeed, Etsy, among many, many others. Uh, in only the past few years, these innovative tech companies alone have created and retained thousands of jobs in New York, and we continue uh, to build on that momentum. I want to thank the team at Spotify, Silverstein, and again, Empire State Development. And of course, I want to thank the governor for his unwavering commitment to making New York the nation's most diverse and robust innovation economy. I know there are some images back here, but I also have some very important news as well that I want to break, so pay close attention. The governor has cooked up something very special for you today. <laughs> All you groovy music lovers, you now know the official playlist of Governor Cuomo. Here it is. Seems very New York centric to me. That's right. I'm proud of it. Seems like you're taking that whole governor of the state thing very seriously. <laughs> um, the one that makes me nervous is personality crisis. <laughs> that kind of hits home. Leave it alone. Leave it. <laughs> um, cheek to cheek. Lots of ways of thinking about that. <laughs> Empire State of Mind, the clean version. <laughs> that's, that's total bunk. The, the staff scrubbed this list. I, I got into the playlist. I mean, I totally hacked into it. It wasn't the clean version. <laughs> wasn't even the dirty version. It was like some crazy bootleg, super provocative <laughs> version. It was, it was excellent. Um, the one that resonates the most with me, though, is Sunday Papers. Let me give you an example of how it works on Sunday morning. Ring, 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 ring. My wife says, who calls your cell at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning? No comment. Hello? Howard, it's Andrew Cuomo. Hello, Governor. Yeah, I'm reading the Watertown Daily News. <laughs> you are? Yeah, the article about economic development. I don't really agree with what they wrote. You know, Governor, they're really nice folks up in Watertown. We're not going to agree with everything everybody always writes. Someone get Melissa on the phone, please. Uh, yeah, Melissa, who hired Zemsky? Get me that person on the phone. We need a conference call right now. Governor, I'm still on the line. This is very embarrassing. That's okay, Zemsky. Have a good weekend. Anyway, with that, um, it is my pleasure uh, to introduce Horacio Gutierrez, General Counsel at Spotify. Thank you so much, and good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to start by thanking Governor Cuomo and, and Chairman Zemsky um, it, for the partnership, the strong partnership that, that they've shown us uh, in the last few months as we have looked into our headquarters situation and had to make some important decisions. Put simply, Spotify's move to Lower Manhattan would not have been possible without their contributions. We are proud to be a New York company. The company was founded 10 years ago in Stockholm, but seven years ago we came to the United States and our CEO made a decision that he wanted to be in New York. 
he thought this was the place to be. We describe ourselves as a, as a music company at heart and a technology company uh, by choice. And where in the world can you really find both the technical technology talent that you can find here and also the richness of the musical tradition that you can find um, in New York. As our business has grown, our presence in New York has grown and today uh, New York is not only our national headquarters, it's our headquarters for the, for the Americas. We are fortunate to be a growing company and as a business grows we add more people and that has many wonderful positive implications. One implication that one has to grapple with is office space. We just ran out of space um, in the location we were in. And as you begin a process like that, you look at your choices, and as the governor says, many people come and talk to you about other um, opportunities. Uh, but we had always been drawn to New York. This is where our roots in the U.S. were. Uh, this, this is the city where the center of our business, and it is in, in many significant ways the media capital um, of the world. Thanks to the governor's leadership in, establish, in establishing the Empire State Development, uh, and, and the state itself as a hub for business technology and startup growth, we knew that there was no better location for us. Um, we are thrilled especially to be moving to lower Manhattan and specifically to Four World Trade Center uh, and significantly expand our footprint there. They've mentioned the thousand uh, additional jobs that we will be creating. That uh, fails to mention the fact that we will retain also 832 jobs that we have today, so the 1,000 jobs are incremental uh, to the ones we have right, right now. We are, as I said, particularly excited to be part of the revitalization of, of Lower Manhattan. Uh, by setting up at Four World Trade Center, we will bring new jobs, but also more diversity, a whole lot of music to the area. Uh, to what's already a burgeoning business community um, in the area. As the governor has said, it's changed tremendously. And, and as we looked into our options, it became clear that that was the vibrant, diverse, uh, world-class community that we wanted to be part of. Uh, Lord Manhattan has always been the pulse of New York, and it speaks to the transformation of the city that the World Trade Center today is home to a diverse array to businesses in tech, media, law, as well as finance. I hope that Spotify's expansion sends a clear signal to the tech community that New York, as the governor says, is open for business. And all of us at Spotify look forward to writing our next chapter here in New York City. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you.